Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game with Ragna and Oyanen that was played in Helsinki in 1944. And where is Helsinki? Helsinki is the capital city of Finland. White started with e4. c5, Sicilian defense. d4. c takes on d4 and white played knight to f3 attacking the pawn. e5 defending the pawn. Now, can white capture the pawn on e5 or not? Would you? White played c3. Knight takes on e5 is a blunder. If knight takes on e5, then queen to a5 check, forking the knight and the king. And after, let's say, knight to d2, queen takes knight on e5. In the game, white played c3. So we have Smith Mora Gambit. d6. Bishop to c4. It is black to move. Perhaps knight to c6 should have been considered. Black played h6. And we have reached the critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you have white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? Perhaps queen to b3 is not a bad move. Well, what was the purpose of this h6? That is to prevent knight from coming to g5. But this is weakening g6 square. It is white to move. Bishop takes on f7 check. Have you seen this move? If you have, congratulations. Well, what else? Black captured the bishop. Knight takes on e5 check. And black played king to e7. Pawn is pinned. And if d takes on e5, queen takes queen. That is why black played king to e7. Knight to d5 check. King to e6. Is king to e8 better? What do you think? How should white continue in this position? Check. And after g6, queen takes on g6. Checkmate. So black played king to e6. Queen to g4 check. Sacrificing the knight on e5. King takes knight. Black is better materially, isn't he? But his king is very, very unsafe. But still, white has to give checkmate. How to continue the attack? Do you have any ideas? White played bishop to f4 check. And black has a choice. King to d4 or king takes pawn on e4. Black played king to d4. Well, if king takes on e4, then we would probably have this continuation. Knight to c3 check. King to d4. Double check. King to e5. And there is checkmate in one. Can you see checkmate in one? Bishop to d4 checkmate. So black played king to d4. Bishop to e3 check. King to e5. And there is checkmate in two. Can you find a checkmate in two? First move, queen to f4 check. And then checkmate in one. Queen to f5. Checkmate. Let's go back to that critical position. White sacrificed the bishop on f7 and won in a spectacular way. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.